a bomber that commands drone armies, a flying fortress that, that can operate without pilots, a sixth generation warplane that costs one third the price of its predecessor while being twice as capable. The B-21 Raider just shattered every rule we thought we knew about strategic bombers. This isn't science fiction. Two of these aircraft are already flying, and what they can do goes far beyond dropping bombs. The Air Force kept most of this secret for over a decade, but now the truth is finally coming out, and it changes everything we know about air warfare. The last time America unveiled a new bomber, the Cold War was still raging. That was 1988. 37 years later, the B-21 Raider represents something the military has never built before. And by the time this video ends, you'll understand why even our closest allies are lining up to get their hands on this aircraft. Welcome to Jet Insight, where we break down the most advanced military technology protecting our nation. Today, we're diving deep into the B-21 Raider, and trust me, what you're about to learn will blow your mind. The Shock Factor Let's start with something that sounds impossible. The B-21 Raider can control entire squadrons of drones while penetrating enemy airspace. Think about that for a second. This bomber doesn't just drop weapons. It commands robot wingmen that fly ahead, test enemy defenses, gather intelligence, and even deliver strikes on command. Former Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said something remarkable when the B-21 was unveiled in 2022. He told the world that the bomber's sensing computing, and communications technologies would prove even more impactful than its stealth design. That's a massive statement, because the B-21 stealth capabilities alone are groundbreaking. But here's where it gets really interesting. The Air Force designed this aircraft with artificial intelligence at its core. The B-21 doesn't just fly missions. It processes massive amounts of battlefield data in real time. It connects with satellites, ships, ground forces, and fighter jets simultaneously. It acts as a flying command center that can coordinate attacks across air, sea, land, and space. And get this, the B-21 can fly completely unmanned if needed. That's right, this bomber has the capability to conduct missions without a single pilot on board. Now the Air Force hasn't committed to using this feature immediately. And they've made it clear that humans will remain in control of nuclear missions. But the technology is there, built into the aircraft from day one. Senior weapons developers have been talking about this for years, but most people didn't pay attention. They focused on the stealth. They talked about the cost, but they missed the real revolution happening inside this aircraft. The B-21 represents the future of warfare, where manned and unmanned systems work together seamlessly. Here's something that should make every American proud. While China and Russia have been trying to build stealth bombers for years, we're already flying a sixth generation aircraft that makes their efforts look outdated before they even get off the ground. If you agree that American innovation still leads the world, type proud in the comments below. The command center in the sky. Let me explain what makes the B-21 so revolutionary. Imagine a bomber that doesn't just penetrate enemy defenses, but coordinates the entire battle while doing it. That's exactly what this aircraft does. The B-21 uses advanced AI, enabled computing, to analyze data at the point of collection. It doesn't send information back to a ground station and wait for orders. It processes everything instantly, identifies threats, calculates the best response, and shares that information with everyone who needs it. Ships at sea, fighter jets in the area, ground troops pushing forward, space satellites overhead, all connected through this one aircraft. Military strategists call this loyal wingman capability. The B-21 can operate with drone escorts that respond to its commands in real time. These aren't simple drones, either. We're talking about advanced unmanned combat aircraft that can carry weapons, jam enemy radar, or act as decoys to protect the bomber. The Air Force has already demonstrated this technology with F-35 and F-22 fighters controlling Valkyrie drones, but putting this capability into a long-range stealth bomber changes the entire equation. Now you have a platform that can stay over a target area for hours, controlling multiple drones, gathering intelligence, and striking targets anywhere within thousands of miles. And here's what really sets the B-21 apart from every bomber that came before it. It was designed with an open systems architecture. That means the Air Force can upgrade it continuously without redesigning the entire aircraft. New weapons? Install them. Better sensors? Plug them in. Advanced AI systems? Upload them. 
The B-21 evolves as technology advances. Compare that to the B-2 Spirit, which used 1980s technology and required years of work for major upgrades. The B-21 was built for the future, from the very beginning. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. Stealth Redefined Now let's talk about the stealth technology itself, because this is where the B-21 truly shines. The Air Force won't reveal specific details, obviously, but what we do know is impressive. The B-21 has a smaller radar signature than the B-2 Spirit, which was already nearly invisible to radar. How did they achieve this? Better materials. More advanced coatings. Smoother design. The B-21's wing and body blend together so seamlessly that it looks like a single smooth surface. Even the engine inlets are tucked into the top of the wings, making them invisible from below. But stealth isn't just about radar anymore. Modern air defenses use multiple detection methods. Infrared sensors that detect heat. Acoustic sensors that hear engines. Visual observation. The B-21 was designed to defeat all of them. The bomber features advanced thermal management systems that reduce its heat signature. Special coatings that are easier to maintain than the B-2's famously difficult stealth skin. And it's smaller than the B-2, with a 140-foot wingspan compared to 172 feet. Smaller size means less surface area to detect. Here's something that shocked defense analysts. The B-21 stealth coatings are actually cheaper and easier to maintain than previous generations. The B-2 required countless hours of maintenance after every mission just to preserve its stealth capabilities. The B-21's coatings are more durable and less labor-intensive. That means more time in the air and lower operating costs. Test pilots have already reported that the aircraft handles better than expected. Chris Haas Moss, one of the B-21 test pilots, said the handling qualities exceed what they saw in simulations. That's remarkable because modern simulations are extremely accurate. For the real aircraft to perform even better shows the quality of the engineering. The cost breakthrough. Here's where the B-21 story gets even better. This incredible aircraft costs roughly $700 million per unit. Now I know that sounds expensive, but compare it to the B-2 Spirit, which cost over $2 billion per aircraft. The B-21 delivers more capability for one-third the price. How did they do it? Digital engineering. Northrop Grumman built the entire aircraft in a virtual environment first. They tested everything digitally before cutting a single piece of metal. This approach reduced design changes from the typical 15 to 20% down to just 1%. That's an incredible achievement. The Air Force also learned from past mistakes. The B-2 program built only 21 aircraft, which made each one extremely expensive. The B-21 program plans to build at least 100 bombers, possibly more. Higher production numbers mean lower costs per aircraft. And here's some great news. Recent reports show the costs are actually decreasing as production ramps up. The first five production lots saw a 28% cost reduction, saving over $5 billion compared to original estimates. Defense programs almost never come in under budget. This is exceptional. Congress approved $4.5 billion in additional funding to accelerate B-21 production. That shows strong bipartisan support for the program. And Air Force leaders are already talking about increasing the fleet beyond 100 aircraft. Some strategists argue for 145 B-21s to meet growing threats from China and Russia. The Air Force plans to replace all 45 aging B-1 Lancers and 19 B-2 Spirits with the B-21 by 2040. These raiders will fly alongside modernized B-52 Strato Fortresses, creating a bomber force that combines cutting-edge stealth with long-range payload capacity. Weapons and Missions Let's talk about what this bomber actually carries. The B-21 is nuclear certified, meaning it can deliver both conventional and nuclear weapons. That dual capability makes it a cornerstone of America's nuclear triad, alongside submarines and ICBMs. The bomber will carry the B-61 Mod 13 nuclear bomb, an advanced weapon that can be adjusted for different blast effects depending on the mission. Need a bunker buster? Adjust the settings. Need an area effect weapon? Change the configuration. One bomb type, multiple uses. The B-21 will also carry the long-range standoff weapon, known as LRSO. This is a new cruise missile that can be used as either a conventional or nuclear weapon. It can strike targets from hundreds of miles away, 
allowing the bomber to stay out of range of enemy defenses. The Air Force conducted four successful LRSO test flights just in 2025 alone. But the mission profile goes beyond traditional bombing. Air Force leaders have hinted that the B-21 might take on roles nobody expected. Air superiority missions, electronic warfare, intelligence gathering, suppression of enemy air defenses. The open architecture design means the bomber can adapt to whatever mission the military needs. Some analysts even suggest the B-21 could perform air-to-air -air combat if necessary. It has the sensor fusion and computing power to track and engage enemy aircraft. Would the Air Force actually use it this way? That's classified. But the capability exists. Testing and progress. The B-21 program is moving faster than most people realize. The first aircraft took its maiden flight in November 2023. The second aircraft flew for the first time in September 2025. Three test aircraft are now actively supporting the flight test campaign. The first B-21 conducts one or two test flights per week at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The second aircraft just joined the program and will focus on weapons integration and mission systems testing. Meanwhile, additional aircraft undergo ground testing to verify structural integrity and systems performance. Air Force Secretary Troy Mink said the arrival of the second test aircraft gives the flight test campaign substantial momentum. They can now test multiple aspects of the bomber simultaneously, accelerating the path to operational readiness. Test pilots report that the B-21's digital models predicted its performance with incredible accuracy. When they fly the actual aircraft, it behaves almost exactly as the simulations showed. That validation proves the digital engineering approach works. The Air Force expects to begin flying B-21s operationally before the end of this decade. Construction is already underway at the three bases that will host the bombers. Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota will get the first operational B-21s. Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri and Dias Air Force Base in Texas will follow. For those of you who served or who support our troops, there's a growing community of military veterans and enthusiasts following these developments closely. Staying connected with fellow patriots who appreciate American military strength makes following these advancements even more meaningful. Global Implications Here's something that should concern our adversaries. The B-21 Raider represents a capability gap that China and Russia cannot close anytime soon. Both countries have tried to develop stealth bombers. China's H-20 remains largely theoretical. Russia's programs have faced endless delays and budget problems. Meanwhile, America is already flying two B-21s, with more in production. We're not just ahead. We're in a different league entirely. Some of our closest allies have expressed interest in purchasing the B-21. Australia, in particular, has seriously considered acquiring Raiders to address their long-range strike capabilities. A single B-21 could fly 2,500 miles without refueling while carrying more weapons than several F-35 fighters. For a country like Australia with vast distances to defend, that's a game changer. The Air Force hasn't decided whether to export the B-21. The aircraft contains some of America's most sensitive technology. Selling it to allies could strengthen our partnerships and increase production numbers, lowering costs for everyone. But it also risks exposing classified capabilities. What we do know is this. The B-21 gives America an edge that will last for decades. The Air Force designed it to operate effectively against the most advanced air defenses China and Russia can build. And because of its open architecture, the B-21 will continue evolving as new threats emerge. What comes next? The B-21 program continues to exceed expectations. It's on schedule. It's coming in under budget. The aircraft performs better than predicted. In the world of defense acquisition, this is almost unheard of. Compare the B-21 to other recent programs. The F-35 faced years of delays and cost overruns. The KC-46 tanker struggled with technical problems. The Sentinel ICBM program triggered a cost review after expenses ballooned 37%. But the B-21? It's become a model for how to run a major weapons program. Credit goes to the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, which managed the program differently than traditional acquisitions. They kept the team small and focused. They used digital engineering from the start. They built production representative test aircraft instead of prototypes. Every decision prioritized getting a working aircraft to the fleet quickly and affordably. Northrop Grumman deserves recognition too. 
They've invested heavily in advanced manufacturing techniques. They use augmented reality tools and advanced robotics to ensure precision and repeatability. They've created a digital ecosystem that lets them analyze test data, make updates, and return to flight testing with remarkable speed. The result? America gets a bomber that's more capable, more affordable, and more adaptable than anything else in the world. A bomber that doesn't just drop weapons, but commands the entire battlefield. A bomber that can operate with drones, process massive amounts of data, and evolve as technology advances. This is why America maintains air superiority. This is why our military remains the most powerful force on Earth. Not because we spend the most money, but because we innovate better than anyone else. The B-21 Raider proves that American ingenuity still leads the world. It's not just a stealth bomber. It's a command center, a sensor platform, a drone controller, and a strike weapon all rolled into one revolutionary aircraft. And it's flying right now, protecting our nation and our allies. If you found this information valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology keeping America safe. The B-21 story is just beginning, and we'll be here to cover every development. Thanks for watching Jet Insight. Stay proud, stay informed, and keep supporting the men and women who defend our freedom.